Please be with us at this time. I believe you will listen to our prayers and respond. Pray that God's Holy Spirit will be present in the Sagittal Zone. I pray that they believe in God and have a happy day. And they be, believe in God and they pray that God's holy life to transform Saudi Arabia. I believe in God. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and 
who is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Today's passage is Mark chapter 6, verse 37 to 44. But he answered, You give them something to eat, they said to him. That would take more than half a year's wages. Are we to go and spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? How many loaves do you have? he asked. Go and see. When they found out, they said, Five and two fish. Then Jesus directed them to have all the people sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to his disciples and to distribute to the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And the, and the disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces of bread and fish. The number of the men who had eaten was five thousand. Hi, how are you today? Good? God is good? All the time? All the time? God is good. Okay, what is your favorite food? Hmm, chicken? Burger? Or pizza? Pasta? <laughs> good. Do not tell me, do not say chips. Okay, I love pasta. And it is pretty, pretty easy and simple to cook it. I love tacos too. Uh, it is even easier. Okay, you need ingredients and uh, you need to follow some steps. Then it'll be cooked. Okay, last week we learned about a Good, uh, we learned about Jesus as a good doctor. This way, what would you imagine Jesus did? It is so wonderful. So, I'm just wondering what you just cannot do. Nothing, right? <laughs> so, to this passage, Jesus uh, became a great cook. Wow, what is he going to cook? Actually, technically, he didn't cook, but he didn't cook, cook, but he made lots of amounts of food and he fed so many people. Guess how many people uh, he, he fed? It was, don't be surprised, it was five thousand people did i make a three zero yes <laughs> okay we will look at uh what ingredients he needed he needed to feed this his people today's passage seems like jesus didn't plan to teach that many people at the beginning um it just happened that um he he taught a large crowd in Matthew chapter 6. And his original plan was to take the 12 disciples into uh, a quiet place and to rest. However, many people, the crowd saw, people saw them leaving. And <clears throat> they saw them leaving. And then, he followed them. 
eventually the people got to the uh, got to the place even before Jesus and disciples arrived. Wow, that's amazing. Um, Jesus, like Jesus, was not upset when he saw this large crowd followed him. Rather, he felt sorry for them, and he had a compassion on them because they reminded of because they reminded him of a sheep sheep without a shepherd. So. He began teaching lots of things to them. You probably wonder why. What makes people, what makes so many people went, uh, going there to find Jesus, to look for Jesus? It is because people love Jesus' teaching. It was for sure different from What Pharisees taught. Um, it was simple, but deeper. It was deeper. It was great. It was awesome to understand God better. It was awesome. It was great to understand God's word better. Okay, what Jesus had done for them was amazing too. Jesus liked to solve their problems. He healed many people, and he set free demon possessed men, and he fed he fed um, the hungry too. Above all, people could see and feel how much Jesus took care of them. They could feel Jesus. Warmth, uh, welcoming, compassion, and love toward them, and that is why people wanted to know more about Jesus and His teachings. Anyway, back to the story. Um, now, it became late in the day. The disciples thought it would be good. It would be good to send people back. So that they could find some food, or they could find um, some food to buy and eat. However, Jesus had a different idea. The disciples found and brought uh, five loaves of bread and two fish to Jesus. And what did he tell? What what did Jesus tell disciples to do? Jesus told them to <laughs> feed the people. What, Lord? <laughs> What would you say if you were one of the disciples, and Jesus told you to <laughs> feed this great amount, a great number of people? John six, John six, John six also talks about this story, and Philip, one of the disciples, answered back to Jesus. He probably felt helpless because he doesn't know, he didn't know what to do, and then he doesn't have any ideas how it'll work. So he said, "If I worked, if I worked for." Eight months, eight months. I, I still wouldn't have that much money to buy bread uh, for this number of people. The disciples counted how much money they needed to feed this amount of this number of people. Um, do you remember how much it? How much money they needed? It was it was more than half a year's wages. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. You have to work more than eight months. The disciples were uh, disciples. They were saying that to Jesus that um, 
It is impossible. And they were telling Jesus, it's impossible. How can I get that money? Where? Right now? That's really too much, people. However, however, did it matter to Jesus? No, no. It didn't matter to Jesus. What did he do? What did Jesus do? Jesus prayed and gave thanks over it. The five loaves of bread and two fish. And Jesus broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples and to distribute them to the people. He also divided the two fish and gave it to all the people. Mm -hmm. Yes, no matter how much the disciples uh, broke pieces off, there were more. Again, more pieces. Again, broke more pieces, broke more pieces. There, were, there was always more. And it was more than enough for five, feeding 5,000 people. The crowd. Everyone ate as much as they wanted, and all were satisfied. When people finished their meals, there were even still 12, 12 baskets of a basket full of food left over. The disciples couldn't believe their eyes. What's going on? Wow, that's amazing. It's a miracle. Yes, Jesus multiplied, multiplied five loaves and two fish to feed 5,000 people. There is nothing Jesus could not do. In the kingdom of God, where God reigns, um, there is always enough. No lack. Enough food, enough, well, en enough warmth, enough love. In Jesus, we never lacked anything. When you read John um, chapter 6, verse 1 to 13, you will see the five loves. And two fish were from a little boy. From a little boy. That little boy, the little boy, wanted to share the food that he brought. Though it was a small amount. And Jesus multiplied, um, multiplied them for uh, 5,000 people. Just like this. Jesus wants to multiply, multiply your little things. Like uh, your little time will be multiplied by the Lord uh, when you give it out for the kingdom of God. Your prayer, your prayer might sound simple, but, but the Lord will multiply it. And work through your prayer. Your small, your small portion of sharing food or donation or offering will be multiplied by Jesus. And it will be used in a great way. For great ways for the needies, for the needs of others. When you get ready to pray and share, just, just give your thanks to God. Just say, thank God. Thank you, Lord. Just like Jesus from today's passage, God is able to do uh, far more than we could ever ask for or imagine. Ephesians, Ephesians um, chapter 3, verse 20. Let us pray. Dear Lord, um, what words can we, can we praise you? 
you are great, you are awesome, you are amazing. This miracle for us is not a miracle for you because you are God. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, thanks for multiplying our small portion of time and sharing. Please help us to rely on you all the time. And also, as we see and learn nothing possible for you, we look forward to experiencing more miracles in our lives for your kingdom. We love you and pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Application Number one, circle the word bread and mark the word fish with a triangle every time they appeared in today's passage. Number two, what did the disciples say when Jesus told them to give the people something to eat? It is impossible. Number three, how many people ate and were satisfied with from five loaves and two fish? 5,000 people.